What is up, everyone? Good morning, and welcome to another mini clip of Hockey Town University. You're here with me once again, Zach, with quite a bit of breaking news, and I can't seem to catch up with Steve Eisenman because I had previously almost uploaded a video before making this one. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Carter Mazur uh, just announced right now as I'm recording at 10.32 a.m. has signed his three-year entry-level contract beginning with the 2023-24 season. Mazur will report to the AHL's Grand Rapids Griffins on an amateur tryout for the remainder of this season. Now, in other news, the same thing has happened with William Wallander. As of this morning, the defenseman signed a three-year entry-level contract beginning next season. Wallander will report to the AHL's Grand Rapids Griffins on an amateur tryout for the remainder of this season. Now, for those of you wondering, why is it an amateur tryout? Well, there's only so many games left for the Grand Rapids Griffins. I believe it's around eight. I know that Detroit only has 10 games left. They've already played 72 out of their 82. So that's potentially why, and that's honestly a good thing. It's a good thing that these players aren't going to burn through another uh, or at least a year of their entry-level deals. But in other news, fellow Rogla BK player Marco Casper has announced that he is making the jump to North America. I know that Leslie and I alluded on the last episode that Marco Casper is someone who wanted to stay over in Sweden in Europe to finish up his schooling and then commit to playing in the Champions Hockey League. Uh, fortunately for us, he's changed his mind. I don't know if Steve Eisenman talked to him or what, but... This is someone who signed his entry-level contract back on July 13th of 2022. So he already had that signed, so that's good to see. Uh, in other news as well, Tara Hirose has been recalled. He's a left wing from American Hockey League's Grand Rapids Griffins, and he was recalled under emergency conditions. Um, so now there's technically three. I know Simon Evanson technically has now been officially recalled, so that's good to see. So... That could potentially be why Tara Hirose is on emergency basis. Um, but nonetheless, you know, still a serviceable player. This is someone who came from the uni or Michigan State University back in 2018-19 season. He was an undrafted free agent that Ken Holland signed. A lot of fans had hopes for him to be a bottom six player on the power play. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't pan out the way that we wanted. But nonetheless, still a great Griffins player and then a serviceable NHLer when the time does come to get called up. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at his stats, I use Elite Prospects. Great tool to use to go look up some of these players. But I'll leave all the information in the description as well. But I want to hear from you guys. You know, leave a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about all these signings. Do you guys expect one, if not all, or maybe none of them, to make the jump with the Detroit Red Wings? Let me know what you guys expect to see out of them with the Grand Rapids Griffins as well. And as always, let's go ahead and end it here. But I want to thank you guys for joining me once again. For those of you who are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That definitely helps us out. And make sure you smash that like button. Let's try and get this video trending into 25 likes. That really goes a long way for us and the algorithm. And as well, once again, leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what your expectations are. So let's go ahead and end it here. But once again, as always, thanks for joining me. And until next time, I'll see you guys Wednesday night on the next episode of Hockey Town University. Go Red Wings.